today we're going to go through and we're going to give you a lot of information that we hope will inform your decision about how you can best proceed to realize those goals that you have and those aspirations that you have. So as we go through the presentation, we're gonna, uh, we have a PowerPoint, we've put a narration on the PowerPoint, so you'll roll through and see what various programs we have. Uh, there will be a chat tool available, and we have a team of people that are ready right now that will be answering questions that you ask uh, through the chat. And then after the presentation is over, we'll still be here to answer any additional questions. Those questions will be made to us from our team based on questions that you submitted to the chat along the way. So with that in mind, I would like to turn uh, the presentation over to my colleague. Um, my colleague is the Assistant Director for Experiential Learning in the College of Business. Her name is Erica Clark. Erica, take it away. Good morning, everyone, and future roadrunners, business roadrunners, that is. Uh, Dr. Grant mentioned some very, very um, powerful words he just didn't know, but I actually wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader uh, whenever I grew up, but um, I think I like my, my role now as Assistant Director of Experiential Learning a lot better. Uh, but just like Dr. Grant mentioned, we have to make some hard decisions, and today's the day, especially for you all. Thank you again for taking time out of your morning to hang out with us for a little bit. Uh, we hope that you take away some key points as we go through our presentation. Uh, make sure you write your questions down. We're here to answer all of them. Um, so sit back and relax and enjoy, enjoy the ride. We hope to uh, hear from you soon. Thanks. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you, future Roadrunners, to our presentation today. We have a lot to share with you. As we do, our team will be actively monitoring the chat tool. If you have any questions along the way, just enter your questions into the chat tool, and we will do our best to answer them at the end of the presentation. So fasten your seat. Else, and off we go. The AACSB is the Association to Advance Colleges and Schools of Business. AACSB accreditation represents the highest standards of achievement for business schools worldwide. Less than 5% of the more than 16,000 schools worldwide granting business degrees have earned AACSB accreditation. The UTSA College of Business is accredited in business and additionally holds a specialized accreditation in accounting. This places the UTSA College of Business among the leading business schools in the world. Last fall, there were over 6,000 undergraduate students enrolled in the College of Business and nearly 900 graduate students. Our undergraduate students are 51% Hispanic, 26% white, 8% African American, and 7% are of Asian descent. The College of Business has well-established majors in all of the traditional business disciplines. This includes accounting and marketing and management, as well as economics, finance, and information systems. We also offer majors that distinguish the University of Texas at San Antonio College of Business from other business schools, and which address the specialized needs of our regional employers, as well as the specialized talents of our faculty members. These majors include actuarial science, supply chain management, cybersecurity, real estate finance and development, statistics and data science, as well as business analytics. In, in 2014, US UTSA was designated as the number one cybersecurity program in the nation by the Ponemon Institute. Additionally, we have been designated as a center of academic excellence in both information assurance, cyber defense education, and research by the National Security Agency, 
and the Department of Homeland Security. This program has been the fastest growing program in the College of Business and is now our largest. Partly due to its popularity, the BBA in cybersecurity is the first fully online program at UTSA. This spring semester, we have approximately 250 students enrolled in this program. The online format has proven effective for our students who work full time as they complete their degree or for post baccalaureate students who are working to change careers or upgrade their skills. In order to adequately prepare our accounting students to sit for the CPA exam, the UTSA College of Business offers a 150 credit hour program. Upon completion, students will graduate with two degrees, a BBA in, in accounting, as well as a master's in accountancy. The degree plans for these two programs are integrated so that students can complete the two degrees in five years, actually beginning their graduate work as seniors. In 2017, we revamped our undergraduate degree programs to give students the opportunity to complete specialized marketable skills as tracks within their majors, rather than through the requirement for additional courses. As you can see, our business students can specialize in several high demand skills to include corporate finance, investment management, IT project management, cyber analytics, forensics analysis, and sports event and tourism management, among many others. We also created supporting business competencies that are available to students across almost all of our majors. These competencies are three course bundles of electives, which together provide the student with a high demand competency. For the incoming class, there will be seven supporting competencies, including <laughs> analytics, entrepreneurship, international business, modeling, leading change, risk management, and business research. To now, I have been focusing on our academic programs and how we have worked to design these programs to prepare our students to pursue their goals and aspirations in the business careers highly demanded in the contemporary job market. But there's much more that we offer our students to ensure their academic experience is engaging, fulfilling, and rich with experiences that will help to mold them into the leaders of their generations and those to follow. For example, the UTSA College of Business features outstanding faculty members who inspire students to learn and to realize their goals. Pictured here is Dr. Nicole Beebe. Dr. Beebe was recently selected by Texas Monthly as one of the top 15 innovators in the state of Texas. In the cybersecurity program, she is joined by two additional faculty members who have been recognized by their selection for the Cybersecurity Hall of Fame. We have faculty members who are among leading researchers in the field. We also have faculty members whose passion is to create the environment and opportunities for our students to succeed. One of our key student success initiatives in the last year was the launch of our direct assistance program. We created the hub as a central location for tutoring students especially in the quantitatively rigorous courses which have proven challenging to our students. In the fall semester alone, we had over 3,400 student visits for face-to-face -face tutoring sessions. We are also actively adding learning spaces specially designed for the needs of our students. Pictured here is the Financial Studies Center that is equipped with the Bloomberg Terminals provide students the experience of working just like investment traders and analysts. It is also home to the Investment Society student organization that sends students to Wall Street for internships and job opportunities. More recently, we launched the UTSA Cyber Range. This range is equipped with CyberBit simulation software. It provides 14 different scenarios that students can use to practice their skills at defending corporate information system assets. For many students, the best way to learn is by doing. 
We have adopted experiential learning opportunities in many of our curricular and co-curricular programs. One example is the signature learning event completed by all of our business students during their freshman year. In AIS 1203, each section becomes a company. Students assume the key roles in the firm as they work together to develop and deliver a product or service. In the spring semester, when we are not sheltering in place, the students sell their products at Diaz en la Sombria. In the fall, Best Fest provides a ready venue. Through this process, students learn to estimate the cost of developing and delivering their product and set prices to compete in a real marketplace. They learn project management skills, practice marketing and product promotion, and really every aspect of running a business. They are provided with a real budget and their financial success is critical to funding the course for the students who will come the following semester. The UTSA College of Business launched our business honors program in the fall of 2019. We are already up to 146 members with 83 new members inducted in spring of 2020. The honors program includes selected academic courses where top faculty members teach students in small sections with enriched <laughs> course content. Additionally, the business honors program includes many additional activities to develop perspective, character, and leadership skills. Business honors students will have the opportunity to develop a global mindset, to participate in service learning, to pursue undergraduate business research, professional development, leadership, and more. Qualified students may participate in both the university level honors college, as well as the College of Business Business Honors Program. Now I would like to turn over the presentation to my colleague and our Assistant Director for Experiential Learning, Erica Clark. Thank you, Dr. Grant, for the introduction. I would like to start off with telling you about some exciting news. Be one of 80 students to live in the C-suite. It's our business living learning community that'll be here this fall. Think like an executive from day one and set yourself up to be a successful college student and business professional. Through our programming, professional development activities, and study sessions, you will also engage in experiential learning activities, which will provide you with real world business perspectives. You will build your personal board of advisors by connecting in and outside of the classroom with staff, faculty members, and business alumni and community leaders. I'll see you this fall. Engage in discovery with our undergraduate research. Research is the way to go at the College of Business. You will have the opportunity to partner with faculty on some amazing research topics pertaining to business. We are launching a pre-PhD program for our undergraduates who have an interest in research. Show off your scholarly endeavors at the pre-PhD symposium and prepare to launch your career as a future PhD. Go abroad with us. The College of Business offers unique opportunities for our students to grow and expand their business global mindset. We have gone on immersion trips to China, Australia, Portugal, Israel, and Ireland, just to name a few. We also have exchange programs where you can go to another country like France and study abroad for a semester. Whether you go on an immersion trip or exchange, both are great ways to build your resume to show you are a global citizen. As a business roadrunner, you have access to your very own professional development center. I know, that's exciting, right? We also call it the CSPD. The CSPD team is ready to assist you with your resumes, interviewing skills, networking, and help connect you with corporate executives. Speaking of connecting you with corporate executives, we host lunch and learns, industry related workshops and panels to expose you to current trends in the industry 
and how you can be ahead of the game when it comes time for you to apply for an internship or full-time positions. On any given day, you may see companies taking over the business building, such as Google, HEB, Valero, USAA, Tesla, Dell, EY, just to name a few. You will have the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with their college recruiting team. Let me tell you a little secret. I've even seen students get interviewed on the spot. As a junior, you will have the course Management 3003. Part of the course is the Career Action Program, or CAP. You will have the opportunity to build your networking skills, have your LinkedIn reviewed by industry leaders, and most importantly, build relationships with our corporate partners. What better way to test drive your major than with an internship? We want you to start preparing for your internship your freshman year. According to the National Association of Colleges and Employers, or NACE, the 2019 internship report says that 56% of students who had an internship were offered a full-time position upon graduation. How cool is that? We encourage you to do at least two internships before you graduate. I know you may be thinking, well, how do I do that? Here at the College of Business, we offer plenty of opportunities for you to get engaged and learn more about the internship process. Hey, did you know that you can get credit towards your degree for doing an internship? As business students, we want to expose you to corporate America by allowing you to spend the day at local and national corporate headquarters. We have taken trips to BP and Exxon in Houston, Southwest Airlines in Dallas, Dell Technologies in Austin, and Valero and USAA here locally, just to name a few. We have 17 registered business organizations for you to get involved in. If you are wondering how to meet new people or how to learn more about your major, the key really is to get involved. Whether you are majoring in marketing or cybersecurity, there is a home for you. looking for a little extra money to assist you with your education, well, the College of Business offers 175 scholarships exclusively for our business roadrunners. We awarded $300,000 over the past two years. By now, you're probably wondering, how do I sign up? two paths that students can take to be admitted into the College of Business and to declare a business major. The first path is direct admission. In the following slides, I will detail the direct admit requirements. Students who do not meet the direct admission requirements will be admitted into business studies. These students will then gain admission to the College of Business after completing the required freshman composition and mathematics for business courses with grades of C minus or better. So for students who finish in the top 25% of their high school class, this incoming freshman who also earn greater than or equal to an 1170 on the SAT or higher than a, equal to or higher than 24 on the ACT will qualify for direct admission. And they will be able to declare their major upon arriving at UTSA. Not every high school has class rank. Some high schools do not determine their rank, and some of our students are from homeschooled. Some students graduate from highly competitive high schools, yet hold promise as a future business leader. For these students who do not finish in the top 25% of their high school class, they can still earn direct admission by scoring higher than a 1270 or equal to a 1270 on the SAT, and greater than or equal to a 27 on the ACT, as well as meeting the Texas Success Initiative requirements. Transfer students may qualify for direct admission by earning a transfer GPA of 3.0 or higher, and by transferring Math 1053, Mathematics for Business, or an equivalent, and 
WRC 1013 freshman composition one or an equivalent with a grade of C minus or higher. Students who enter the business studies track can gain admission to the college of business after a semester in which they complete math 1053 and WR 1013 with grades of C minus or better. And they will have had to have sustained a GPA of 2.0 for their UTSA cumulative and college of business grade point averages. Erica. Take a moment and get connected with us. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and even Pinterest. Thank you again for joining us today. As you can see, we take our business serious at the College of Business. I look forward to seeing you on campus this fall. Birds up and go runners. Thank you, Erica. We appreciate that opportunity to hear all about more in the College of Business. And right now, I'd like to share with our team some of the questions that we've had come through today so that we can get those answered for a lot of you guys to get more answers. And the first question I would like to address is going to be to Rosa. And the question would be, if I'm going to major in finance, is it also possibly for me to get the CPA and make those both happen. Hello, everyone. Um, good morning or good afternoon. So um, the CPA requires several requirements. And if you visit our accounting website, um, the College of Business accounting website, it'll it does have a section on the CPA requirements. Uh, many students in the College of Business will double major in accounting and finance, and so you can see those particular requirements. Um, if you give us your email address, um, we can send you more information. Thank you. Thanks, Rosa. All right, another question that we'd like to ask, I'm going to direct to Erica Clark, who you've already heard from this morning. And Erica, the question is, if I want to participate in study immersion trips, are there any classes that I could take in the College of Business to get ready for that? Hello, um, thank you so much for your question. I would ask you to work with your advisor um, and they will be able to give you a list of classes uh, to help prepare you for uh, the the step to do the immersions. Perfect, thank you, Erica. All right, and then one more question that I'll bring to the table is going to be addressed to Dr. Kevin Grant. And Dr. Grant, that question is, if I went to attend the business school, but I fell a little bit below my SAT requirements, even though I was in top 25%, what do you recommend I do to make it to the business school? I think that's an excellent question. And, and it gives me an opportunity to really help clarify what this business studies option is. So the direct admits, when they arrive, they can declare their major right upon arrival. But what happens with uh, business studies is you simply need to, uh, in your first semester, complete the, the math Maddox for business course and the composition course if you haven't already and maintain a 2.0 GPA and if you do then you'll come into the College of Business in your second semester of the freshman year so so I want to make it real clear if you just miss the direct admit requirements you're not going off into the lost jungle never to see business again you just have an opportunity during that first semester to demonstrate that you are in fact ready for college and at the end of that semester, we'll look to ensure you've taken those required courses and maintained a 2.0 GPA. And then you'll join the College of Business in that spring semester of your freshman year. Thank you, Dr. Grant. And since we have some time, I'm gonna 
round up with another question, and this one I want to address back to Rosa Garza Gurdy, and that is if I'm a transfer student and I've met my GPAs and the SAT requirements, but not the math course requirement, will I still be able to become a business major? So if you meet the GPA requirements, but you have not completed the math requirement, you will come in as a business studies um, student, like Dr. Grant said. And so all you have to do is once you arrive to UTSA, your first semester, you, com you complete your math requirement, you meet your um, 2.0 GPA at the end of the term, and then you can declare your major. And um, in addition, we don't, um, depending on what classes you're transferring in, there are still classes that you can register register for that are business classes, so you won't be delayed in progress. Um, but this is something you'll want to talk to your advisor with. But um, there are opportunities, even if you don't meet those direct admission requirements, you still have that opportunity to pursue business. It's most students will um, finish those requirements within one semester, and even in that one semester, you can still pursue business courses. Um, um, as you continue on to the to your major. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa. And then Dr. Grant, let me run one more with you. And it is if I'm seeking my second bachelor's at UTSA and I want to major in accounting, but also do the master's in accountancy, how do you recommend I can do both? Uh, I would say you certainly can do both. Uh, uh, starting with this fall semester, all of our post baccalaureate students will enter as uh, direct admits. Uh, and so uh, it, it will just be a matter, since you already have completed a degree, we do have a residency requirement. You'll need to complete at least 39 credit hours at UTSA. Uh, but since your focus would be on accounting uh, and the masters of accountancy, you should be able to take transfer, find out what you transfer in look at what you still need, and then uh, develop a degree plan that follows that path and finish with the uh, both degrees. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Grant. All right, we just want to uh, thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'm going to pass this off right now over back to Destiny, and she's going to give you guys a little bit more information. Thank you. Destiny, can you unmute? Sorry, guys. Um, but if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to um, submit them into the question box within the app. So if you're using our UTSA Day guidebook or um, on your desktop or on your phone on the app, in your navigation bar, there's a, um, it'll say like submit a question. You can submit a question there, and then I don't know if the um, the College of Business, if you guys have um, any links that you guys want to leave for the students, maybe if they want to reach out for questions, um, that link will be put into the chat box as well. And then I am also leaving another way for you guys to submit questions. Um, and if you drop the questions there, it'll automatically go to an admissions counselor. But if you, if we can't answer that question for you, we'll go ahead and send that off to the College of Business. Um, thank you guys for joining in. We encourage you guys to also complete the survey. So in the same UTSA Day guidebook, uh, the app version, it's not on the desktop, but it's only in the app. There's a survey link. And on that link, if you complete the survey, it's gonna automatically submit you to a drawing for some free UTSA swag. And who doesn't love free things? Um, I heard there may be like a t-shirt, maybe a cap, water bottle. So a lot of cool um, UTSA spirited items. So like I said, fill out the survey app. You can also submit your questions through the app or through the link that's in the chat. Thank you.